Hey guys, welcome to Veering Star V Center, where we've been family owned and operated since 1954. My name is Parker, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough video of the Hideout 28 RKS from Keystone RV. If you have any questions throughout the video, please feel free to give me a call. My number will be at the bottom of the screen throughout the entire video. If you have questions about your trade, the buying process, financing options, Veering RV as a dealer, and, and kind of some of our history, please feel free to give me a call. Let's take a look at the inside. So this 28 RKS hideout weighs 7,000 pounds and come in, comes in at a length of just over 32 feet. It's a rear kitchen type floor plan with a lot of countertop space, a lot of kitchen storage, a great living room area with a lot of seating options and sleeping space as well. You can sleep about four to six people in this uh, trailer and then a really nice bathroom and front uh, master bedroom as well. Let's take a look at the kitchen. So the kitchen of the 28 RKS is the focal point of this floor plan. It's absolutely phenomenal with a lot of nice things that Hideout had changed for this year. First, you're gonna see a huge stainless steel farm style sink right here, wide open, plenty of room to uh, fit all those pots and pans that you're washing after dinner. A high rise faucet with a pull down sprayer as well, making it even easier to clean, but a ton of countertop space for prep work um, and just a place to set things. So when you're washing dishes afterwards and whatnot, now new for Hideout this year is going to be the one piece seamless countertops, getting rid of that old team mold style countertop. So what that means is these are going to last you a lot longer, be a lot more durable. You're not going to have to worry about having to maybe replace them in a year or two. You're going to have an outlet right here. Great spot for a crock pot, coffee pot. They also added in these LED lights underneath the countertops this year. So it's a cool little uh, uh, mood light at night if you don't want the ceiling lights on. Um, and then you can have more countertop space here, but windows all the way around in this trailer. So you have a lot of natural light coming in and some breeze if you want to open up, up as well. Or if you have the grandkids with you or something, you can keep an eye on them as well if they're outside playing underneath the awning. Storage galore throughout the entire kitchen, above and below. You're going to have a couple of drawers here. You're going to have stainless steel microwave, stainless steel oven, three burner cooktop, another outlet back there as well. And then a huge fridge here. Plenty enough space to bring everything with you. This is a gas or electric fridge as well. And then next to that, you're gonna have your pantry. We can fit all those uh, snacks and goodies that you wanna take with you. And then your main slide on the unit is gonna be a super slide here, which is gonna have your dinette and your couch. Starting at the dinette, high dose dinettes are one of my favorite dinette setups in the industry for a couple different reasons. You got windows all the way around, pleated shades in the living room area, as opposed to the mini blinds but a lot of space here at the dinette. Now, one of my favorite parts about it is the dinette table. They call it their do more dinette table for a couple of reasons. One, it's not bolted to the ground. You can move it around, take it outside, use this picnic table, um, whatever you want, but it's a breakaway table, I like to call it. So basically, if you have somebody sleeping on the dinette, you're gonna pull this lever here. The table is gonna fold down and then sit right on top of these wooden ledges. You're gonna put your cushions on top and you have your bed set up. My favorite part about it though is that you have the legs still on the ground. So you hear some of these horror stories about these dinette tables breaking and whatnot because there's not enough support underneath them. Well, now you have the support there and it's just as easy to put it back up and you're good to go. You have a storage door there, making it easy to access everything underneath there, but there's storage underneath the entire dinette too. Then our other part of our slide, you're gonna have your jackknife sofa. A couple of nice things about this. It's actually really, really comfortable or an RV, but if it's just two of you sitting here, you do have a nice little flip down cup holder. If you have a couple of drinks, you can put them there. You got a nice large uh, window here with the pleated shade again, nice view, but you do have another window here on the dinette. So both sides, which in a trailer like this, you don't always see. Now the other nice thing is that you have storage completely under here. Uninterrupted, you can fit blankets, pillows, some of the stuff you might not be using all the time. Um, so it gives you another nice option. But it's great viewing for the TV wherever you are, whether it's the dinette, the couch, or even your two chairs. Now these are pushback recliners, so you can turn them towards the TV, kick back and relax, watch a movie at night with the family, um, watch the news in the morning, whichever you choose. But it's great viewing for your TV. Now again, you saw the rope light in the kitchen area. You have it here behind the TV as well. You have a lot of nice storage here too. A couple coat racks or coat hangers here, so you wanna hang them up. And then storage above here as well for all those DVDs, anything you want to take with you. You have storage below too. And then you have your AM, FM, DVD, Bluetooth radio right here. Um, you do have speakers inside and outside as well. So if you want to listen to some music out there. But overall, a great kitchen setup um, with viewing of really everything. But it separates it enough where it feels like you're at home kind of where you have separate kitchen, separate living room. Everybody can kind of be doing their own thing. You're not going to feel cramped and plenty of seating. Let's take a look at the bathroom and the master bedroom. 
So here in the bathroom area, you're gonna find a lot of space, a lot of storage, a huge shower, a radius shower with your tub surround, and sliding glass doors. The sliding glass doors are gonna make it really easy to get in and out. Plenty of headroom there. You have your vent fan up low there, so if you're taking a hot shower, it's not gonna get steamy in here. You can turn that on and get all that out of here. Um, you're gonna have a nice linen closet right here with some shelves below for all those for all those towels and everything you're putting there. But then you're gonna have your your sink with storage above and below as well. Foot flush porcelain toilet. I love that it's porcelain toilet. It's gonna be a lot more durable and just a better quality toilet too instead of those plastic ones. Those plastic toilets are actually kind of expensive to replace if anything happens to them. This will be a lot more durable and will last you longer over time as well. You have two different entrances to the bathroom. You have your main entrance here from the trailer and you actually have your entrance here into the bedroom which we're gonna go into right now. So the master bedroom, there's a lot of good things to say about the master bedroom. One thing I wanna point out right away is that you have two windows. That's big for a couple of reasons. One, you get a nice cross ventilation and a lot of nice natural light too. So if you don't want the lights on in here, you have full length wardrobes on both sides of the bed for all those clothes you wanna hang up. You have nightstands and outlets, plenty of room to set your phones, tablets, CPAP machines maybe if you use one of them at night. Um, RV queen size bed with storage underneath and gas struts. Now you'll notice under there that there is a hose set up there. That is actually for your central vacuum system. You have a central vacuum system that is gonna be easy to access and easy actually to empty as well. That hose is gonna reach every crack and crevice of the trailer. No more bringing that broom along and sweeping it out. Just gonna plug in your hose, sweep it up, and then forget about it. Now one thing I do wanna point out is on the uh, right side of the bed there, there is a little tablet here that you can pull up on on the nightstand. And that actually goes to your pass-through storage. A lot of my customers like to use this for uh, as a laundry chute. They'll put the laundry basket right down there, throw your dirty clothes down there, out of sight, out of mind. It's a really nice setup, a really cool thing to hide out. Uh, gives you guys always thinking of the customer. That's one of the things I like best about them. Let's take a look at the outside of the trailer. So on the exterior of the 28 RKS hideout, I wanna start up front for a couple of reasons. One new thing for hideout this year is a smooth aluminum front. It's gonna be a lot easier to clean. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna look sharper too. And it's gonna be a lot more durable um, in the elements as well than your typical ruffled aluminum front. So, and then one other new thing is this uh, new three year structural warranty. Uh, I wanna point that out for a couple reasons. For more information on that, give me a call. It's not something that Hideout has offered in the past. So give me a call and I'd love to uh, talk more about that or come on in and see me, we can go over that as well. So on the door side of the trailer here, a few things I wanna point out. One being the huge pass-through storage that Hideout gives you. They do a really nice job with this as far as height-wise and width-wise. Plenty of room to get all your chairs and everything that you wanna put in there uh, and good size baggage door as well. Moving on down here, an absolutely huge awning. On this one this is one of our most popular trailers right now one of our best sellers uh, for a couple reasons the floor plan and then the exterior as well um, huge power awning with an led light strip here um, one thing i like about these awnings a lot is that it is an adjustable pitch now what that means is let's say you have a glare from the sun let's say a rain's coming in and you uh, don't want to worry about damaging your awning at all so what you can do is basically you pull down right here and you can, get a, you can get a tilt in it, a pitch. So basically it's gonna help with water runoff, it's gonna help with that glare a little bit. Um, just give you a peace of mind, and so that way you don't have to worry about damaging your awning at all. Now there's a couple things you can do if you wanna put it back before you put it in, it's as easy as just pushing it back up and you can put it to however you like. You don't have to adjust it to put it back in, it will adjust itself, but if you feel better about putting it back, it's just as easy to do there. I did it with one finger, so. Um, Heading towards the door, you're gonna have your main door. What I like about this door is that it's gonna be on a gas strut. So it's gonna stop there. You're not, not gonna have to worry about the wind damaging it. Um, and you don't have to worry about uh, running into anything else. Triple step entry, so it's easy for you and the kids to get in. And then a large assist grab handle as well. So if you're carrying stuff in and out, you have something to grab onto there. And as you're coming down. Now you saw the TV on the, on the interior. Uh, that TV is on a removable bracket. So what you can do is actually uh, there's a little lever you can pull down on, lift the TV off the bracket, bring it on out here, and you have an exterior bracket that you can slide it right on into. And you can watch a football game, baseball game. Um, if you're uh, out there during the 4th of July or anything like that, and you wanna watch the 4th of July parade, you can do that as well. Um, a really nice option there that Hideout does for you. And then the other nice part about this floor plan is you have an exterior kitchen. So instead of having to run back on inside to uh, cook up a snack, uh, to grab a drink, you can have all that out here with you thanks to your mini fridge, thanks to your uh, two burner cooktop here. And then you actually have 
some storage here as well. So if you want to put some snacks and stuff here too, um, just lets you enjoy the outside a lot uh, for longer periods of time too. New for Heidel this year as well is going to be the power stabilizer jacks. Um, instead of having to manually crank them down or using a drill, you have um, a couple, you have a switch back here for your rear jacks, and then you have a switch up front for your front jacks too. It's this one switch is going to control both jacks back here. Same with the front. It's going to control both front jacks. You don't have to go from this corner to that corner to the other corner to the other one. It's going to do all here for you. These are sealed and waterproof too. So if it is raining, you don't have to worry about them shorting out on you too. Moving to the back here. You're gonna notice that you have an outside shower here with a hot and cold option as well. And then you're gonna have a spare tire uh, with the rack and then you are gonna be uh, backup camera prepped as well if you'd like to put a Furion backup camera system on it, which is actually really cool and there's a couple perks to it. We have them available in our camp store. For more information on that, come on in and see us or give me a call. I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch my walkthrough video of the 28 RKS hideout from Keystone RV. Again, my name is Parker and I'm with Veerinx RV Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or stop on in. If you found this video helpful, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like the video, go to our Facebook and like the video as well. Leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing. Let us know if you wanna see some other things that we didn't uh, really have time to show. Um, I, there was a couple things I wasn't able to go over like the black tank flush, the cold mountain package. So if you want some more info on that, Please give me a call or stop in and see us. Thanks, guys.